Hi guys, my name is Bex and welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing to you my day two of the Reading Rush vlog. unspooling past her stomach heaved she stumbled away from the director's body toward the doors where she coughed up a sour string of bile hi guys it is day two and i am here to tell you where i am at so it is about half past four on the second day of the reading rush and i wanted to check in with you guys because after i finished my vlog last night i did some more reading um so now i am up to page 334 of truly devious by maureen johnson i'm really enjoying this and it's nearly finished so i'm hoping once i put you down from this little clip i'm going to finish this one off but we shall see and i'm also reading sorcery of thrones this is an audio book which i started today and i'm up to page 34 of that one so slowly progressing i feel like i'm going okay so far with this readathon i am really enjoying what i'm reading i'm really excited to get into my other books though as well so hopefully once i finish this one i might even be able to force another book in tonight but we shall see i work during the day so it is tuesday so i work seven to four so now is kind of time to relax so I'm going to read a little bit now. I am going to cook dinner later tonight and I'll take you guys along with me. I have zero book mail today so there is really nothing exciting. Maybe I'll think of something interesting to say later. Um, if you missed my day one vlog I will leave it tagged up above so you can go check it out. It was a hot mess. If you want to see someone who can't draw attempting to draw Peter Malark go have a look. It is a choice. <laughs> um, but that is it for the moment, guys. I will talk to you guys. Hey guys, so I've just finished Truly Devious and I'm confused, <laughs> honestly. And I don't really know what happened. I think the ending's strange for a mystery because you would think that everything wraps up doesn't. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I don't like having to read 420 pages and then not really know at the end. Hey guys, so I am back again and I'm going to clock off for the day. But first, I need to give you the challenge for today. And second, I need to tell you where I'm at. So today I finished one of the books on my TBR, which was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Still unclear on my feelings, but as the week goes on, maybe I'll give you more thoughts. And I also listened to 34 pages of Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and enjoying that so far. I've also started reading The Woods Volume 3, New London, by James Tiernan IV. So I'm going to continue reading Sorcery of Thorns and The Woods later in the week. So the challenge for today was from Robbie Reads, and it was two truths and one lie based off Big Little Lies. It was a little fun one I thought he was doing. So he did books that he's read and stuff like that. I'm going to give you two sets of two truths and a lie. One of them is like personal based and one of them will be book based. So the personal based one, one, I'm an accountant. Two, I love math. Three, I'm an only child. So you pick which one of them is the lie on my personal front and let's go bookish. So for bookish ones, I'm going to say I have met Jay Kristoff in person. I have read all of Lee Bardugo's published works. And number three, the Hunger Games series is what got me back into reading. So one of them is a lie. So you let me know down in the comments what you think is a lie and I would love to talk to you guys. But that is it for me today, guys. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more and have not already and chat to me down in the comments. Tell me what the lies are. I would love to hear your thoughts on those. But that is it for today, guys. Hopefully I'll have some better content for you tomorrow, but... <laughs> No promises. But that is it for me today, guys. I'm going to be every Monday and Thursday, and I'll see you on a new one.